Hello YouTube, after exactly waiting one month my PCBs came from PCB way and those are the already track PCBs that I was waiting and waiting but before that I have two other small items I just wanted to open online okay this is a um, Oh, they call it USAP programmer, I think. Yes. And uh, with this, I will try to bootload and upload code to the tiny G clone I'm gonna make for my pick and place machine which is sitting here oops I almost knocked my glass over so I'm still waiting on parts for that and uh, but now since the PCBs came in finally I have something to do I actually have always something to do but and those are just some items from China. Oh, this is nicely packed. Okay, well, I can read that. Wow, nice. I like small items. This is pretty nice and oily. Let me get this out. This looks awesome. Just let me wipe it off a little bit here. I forgot how you call those. Anyhow, you can make sure you have a 90 degree edge. This is this is nice. I like this. And this just cost a couple of bucks. Can you imagine that? I mean, how do people make money with this in China? I know the work is cheap, but you still have the material, you have the machines that are running, you have the electricity used. This is nice. I hesitated to buy it, but now I'm glad. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Let me pack it away, and here is a brass ruler, and this is also just a couple of bucks, and this is nice, inches and centimeters, just for short items to measure. I also have my steel ruler. But this looks way cl classier. I like that. Very nice. Okay, without further ado, let's come to the main attraction. Let's see which way we're gonna open this. I <clears throat> ordered the same PCB from Elecro, but those have not arrived yet. So, okay, nicely packed in bubble wrap. Not loose like it was the last time on. Elecro, which I don't know why they do it. This is the way they should be packed so they won't scratch, scratch each other. Okay, the first time PCB they made those, they put their serial number on here, and this time they are without. And 
those look nice. I'm looking, you're on camera, I'm off camera looking at it. And those are pretty nice, came out nice. Yep, can't complain about that one. I tried to look for, uh, <coughs> excuse me, for a fab house here in Europe, but the prices are so high, it's unbelievable. It would cost me almost 10 times as much, 10 times as much to make to have those made here in Europe and finally already track by Hairi this is how you pronounce my name by the way Hairi so if anybody wonders about that and uh, I have to say this time they did a nice job. I'm still looking through my phone. Let me look. Yes. And this bot has so many features. I will populate one and tell you about it. Those are all custom layouts. So I can put the uh, Actually, I can show you that in a second. I just picked one up from the floor that jumped off my table. Those are my slide switches that I'm using. And with this, I can put it closer to the edge. Let me see. I can put it closer to the edge. So the switch produces this will be used in case i put a 3d printed enclosure around this and i can put it towards the inside so the switch is not producing so if i'm gonna make the naked version so to speak the switches will not stick out so that's why i made those and on here i didn't need to because they are inside this uh, cutout and the same thing goes here of course this is the on off switch which doesn't produce and therefore I made two of them on off switch here also so if it's gonna go in an enclosure it's gonna be put on here and this is the same way for the reset switch not this one, the other one. And I also have a on off button for the GPS. Oops, there it goes. Oh, those things are so tiny. Again. Oh, this time I cannot find it on my carpet. Sorry about that. Anyhow, uh, I have an on off switch here. GPS on off switch on the back. And I have a mute button over here for the speaker in case you want to play games without sound. So this is it. This is my final, hopefully final, um, OLED track PCB. Okay. Sorry, I'm back in a second. The other day I cleaned up my printer and now I cannot find anything. So these are my rotary encoders. And I had made the mistake where the holes for the pins were too small. And this time they will fit. Alright. So everything seems to in order let me just double check yes 
Well, for my uh, few friends and customers waiting for them, they will get it soon. I will populate one, make sure it all works. And uh, I have initial 10 of those. So they will be sold. The initial 10 I will sell uh, not on Tindil directly. And these will go on Indiegogo for crowdfunding because I can only invest so much money in it and uh, anyhow this is my already track and when it grows up it will look like this here you can see the serial number they put on there first a little dusty anyhow and my new uh, menu now has a limit of 74 which i'm producing to 70 before it was 50 files now it's 70 uh, if you want it alphabetically sorted if you don't care about the alphabetic sorting it's uh i don't know i think 500 something apps that you can have on there and but on this one it's uh 74 all those programs will be included and they are on a micro SD card you can have if you want the 74 or 70 I will reduce just to make sure if you have more than 70 apps you can just have a second micro SD card and load that in there and if the micro SD card is not loaded and you turn it on I mean not inserted which happened a couple times to me I, that I forgot it will say insert SD so as soon as you do that it will load all the programs and this one has of course also the NeoPixel stick the GPS module that I wanted to use initially did not work so I got another one a tiny one let me get that also real quick I think I know where it is. Yes. Okay, here we go. And this will go. Oh, I forgot. It goes either on the back or on the front. It will go in there. I think it was in the back. This is the antenna. And it has a clip. And if my calculations are right, this will fit through here. Yes, I almost thought it will not. So anyhow, I think the antenna is on the top, so it will go like this. And the antenna pinches in here, so it will be on the top and facing up. And the GPS module is in the back. So I think I got the few issues worked out and it has an IPS header it has the header for the 10 uh, degree of freedom sensor board micro SD card uh, charging RTC module for the clock uh, a light, um, lithium cell backup battery and all kinds of other goodies oh no this was the space for the speaker the battery goes in the back anyhow oh and by the way they did uh, catch a mistake that I made and I had the bottom T T T T T I forgot anyhow the layer so it won't be covered and it was wrongly for the top so they noticed that and sent me a message let me know I, I change it around and now of course it's not covered it's right it's not covered by the silk screen so of course you won't see those once it's uh, put together
but on the back PCB that I can use it will say my name and other info anyhow it's been over 15 minutes I don't want to keep you getting bored or keep you up and how this is it and it will be soon ready of course I hope and uh, again thanks for watching and take care everybody